obviously we, we obviously like because we've been in touch for a, a you know reasonable amount of time now. We interviewed you last year, we interviewed this year, so we've got a good picture, I think, of the festival. But I, I, I realised this week our listeners don't necessarily know too much about you. And in the spirit of <laughs> questions, I seem to started asking people in interviews recently. Um, I came up with a good one. I was having a conversation with someone I went to university with, right? And um, <clears throat> they reminded me of a time that uh, I, I don't think I was in a particularly sober state, but someone who was drove us down to a local supermarket and rather than buying a week's shopping, I bought a um, kind of inflatable swimming pool and a load of those balls you get in ball pits at soft play. Uh, yeah. And kind of basically took everything out of our living room. We bought some blow-up crocodiles, I think, as well. I took everything out of our living room and made it into a kind of giant soft play for adults. Um, and so in, in the spirit of getting to know you guys better, what's the uh, <laughs> what's the most random thing uh, along those lines that you've ever done, uh, whether it's, you know, on a night out or uh, at a party or anything else? Have you got any uh, good ball pit stories or similar? Oh, uh, right. Um, uh... Well, we tend to hold loads of kids parties and fill up our house um actually we had a great um yeah most random random recent one we as i said we tend to like throwing throwing parties and um at christmas we were due to host the our little girls in reception we were due to host the parents uh that's a pre-christmas drinks on the friday night and have the kids over on Saturday lunchtime for a kids' party. Now we were thinking it's quite a world to do school. The parents won't stay very late. We'll, we'll have drinks, nibbles and cheese, and they'll be gone by about nine, half nine, ten o'clock. Half past one in the morning, I was sitting on my stairs telling them, you guys need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and my house. Kids come. <laughs> um, I knew it was going to go bad. Go interestingly when one of them turns up with a bag with a bottle of sours and went, "Yay, shots!" <laughs> Excellent. Um, I, I and, didn't realise just how much we drank, and then I tried to sleep at two a.m. Failed. Uh-huh. I got to sleep about six, and then we got up. No, actually, that's a really random part of the story. <laughs> I got up at about half past seven, still yeah. absolutely drunk as a skunk. <laughs> Aiden came downstairs <laughs> at about half past nine and found me sitting on the floor trying to put together an electric fireplace with my hand <laughs> shaking so badly I couldn't even hold the screwdriver. Oh my god! So I then went back to bed for I, about well, two hours, yeah. got up, and then ran a kids' party for about thirty-five children. Oh my god, Serena! Wow. <laughs> there you go. That 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 that, yeah, that that's a pr- that's a. Pr- time in the morning like where does that come from what part of your brain went oh this is a good time to do this that that's nothing yeah, short of, go ahead <laughs> i was gonna say that's nothing short of impressive uh because i mean i think uh, so far the uh, i guess because so one of the funniest things is uh um about two months ago em and i were watching a movie and i mean we had a few drinks i had a little bit more than she did to, to, to be completely honest and uh so she she went to bed and I didn't realize and I passed out on the couch right and then I get up it's like two in the morning and go to bed it's like why don't you wake me up because well I did but you instructed me that you were coming to bed <laughs> but but you, but you never did till about three hours later <laughs> it's like oh right sorry <laughs> I love it. there you go I feel like we know you a bit better already yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, you need to come to my next birthday party. That's going to be a good one. <laughs> Are you going to bring an electric fire to put together in the early hours of the morning? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Definitely not. I might bring one. Maybe that would be my birthday present to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we do actually have another hilarious story from uh, after the festival last year. We ran, um, well, we hosted a barbecue for crew and and bands of the festival and actually Mike you couldn't make it and Ivan um, oh this is brilliant <laughs> bless him we, we were all um, sort of getting married and it was quite late and Ivan sort of disappeared and we thought oh right he's got to, he's eight. we knew he had to get home at some point so no, no problem and then we, we double checked couldn't find him so we thought he must have gone to catch up with him tomorrow 
seven o'clock the next morning, our little oh. guy says, Mummy, there's a man at the door. Oh, <laughs> And what had happened, he's got a problem with his ankle. He'd got halfway up our road. His ankle would give him way. And he'd crashed on the floor, lost his wallet, so couldn't get home. Oh, oh his no. phone would run out of battery, so he couldn't phone us. And bless him, he didn't want to wake us up, so he slept on our porch. <laughs> <laughs> How rock and roll is that? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's awesome. What a legend that man is. Yeah, and then we obviously let him in and then said, well, we might as well cook your breakfast, you know. (laughs) (laughs) And look after that ankle. (laughs) (laughs) Brilliant. Well, there you go. If you're listening to the show and you don't know much about Sabrina and Aidan, um, be wary of uh, of, of what seem like tame nights at their house and... uh, (laughs) <laughs> and also be aware that it's perfectly okay to sleep on their porch and oh, make your breakfast if you do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, yeah, I guess fine. The, what thoroughly nice people you are. <laughs> I, I, I have I have one more story before we get to our next song, and it's along the lines that this is, I don't know how many months ago. It was point being, it was with the next time, but it, it's nothing really graphic. It was point being, is a uh, co-host of ours, Mike G, who's co-host with us a bunch of times. <clears throat> we I spent the night at his place. So at the time, the girl was saying, spend the night at his place. And he's like, okay, I'll sleep on the couch. Just give me a couple of blankets from the, from the top of the closet. I was like, okay, sure. So I didn't realize because I was like three sheets of the wind, right? So I, I, I apparently gave him a bunch of T-shirts to sleep with instead of a blanket. <laughs> so he wakes the morning goes, he wakes the morning says, goes, goes, you give me T-shirts. Like, I did. He's like, I asked for blankets. like, oh, sorry, man. He goes, well, no, I didn't want to bother you. So I, I, I saw the T-shirts over as a blanket. He's like, oh, my God, man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so... Go, so uh, hats off to Mike G for sleeping with a bunch of t-shirts instead of a blanket over him. <laughs> I once took my mate a sleeping bag to sleep in at my house. He went, that's mine. I've been looking for that for about three years. <laughs> <laughs> must have left it here, mate. <laughs> it's been our guest sleeping bag. <laughs> well, well what, what, now, now, generally speaking, usually Em and I will both fall asleep together or she'll see that I'm nodding off, so she'll nod off too or she'll just kind of leave me there and say, well, where were you? It's like, like, what do you mean, where was I? He's like, I told you to go to bed. He's like, you did? He's like, and no, she goes, no, I'm just kidding. But you, you fell asleep out there. So. <laughs> That's hilarious. Just, just, just waiting for the day that, that, that we come home from somewhere and she leaves me on the front step, right? So <laughs> she, She's smiling and nodding right now because she knows it's going to happen. <laughs> one day, mate, one day. Actually, sorry, sorry, one more story. And this has got to do with them. This is about three months ago. I had gone to a buddy's party because he was leaving one job and starting another one. And... Uh, I knew I was tired, so I was, you know what, I'm going to leave early so I can avoid any 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 sort of problems, meaning, like, I'm not going to sit down and fall asleep and, like, be, walk, be woken up, like, three, four hours later. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to leave early. So I, I text her, and I'm not sure, Sabrina, Aiden, have you guys seen the movie Old School? No. It's it's Will Ferrell. Anyways, there's one point where he, he was known as Frank the Tank, and they kind of restart a, a frat house, and he goes streaking by himself, and his, his, his wife and friends are out driving, and he catches up to him and just goes, oh my God, is that your husband? He's like, he's like, oh, hi, honey. And he's completely naked. And he gets in the, gets in the car. He goes, he goes uh, it's, uh, do you know if KFC is still open, the Kentucky Fried Chicken? And before before I went out, I specifically said, she goes, so, so help me God, if you come to the car completely naked and ask me if KFC, KFC is still open, because I'm going to keep on driving. <laughs> So, so she she came to the house and of course she's parked outside. She's waiting because I texted her saying, "No, I'm ready and coming out." And I'm saying my goodbyes. And of course, what happens? I take one step, two step. I turn around, say goodbye. And because because of the alcohol and tiredness, I slip and fall. She completely missed it because she's she she was on her phone. She looked at her phone, right? So she completely missed it. I get in the car. She doesn't realize what, right away because then we get home. Because wait a minute, because your face all dirty. Goes, you got mud all over your face. Go wash it out. No, no, I just want to go to bed. No, go take them off your face. Well, I just want to go to bed. Take the mud off your face. <laughs> like literally half one size, all kick full mud. I got a couple scrapes because I was an idiot, but it was it was a fun night regardless of that. So, oh, man. There you go. I knew that question would open up some great stories. Oh, of course, absolutely. <laughs> so we do have a couple more songs to get to tonight. So the next one up, uh, speaking of free recovery, which we talked about a few minutes ago, this is a song called Swamp Thing. Dig this. <laughs> I got one tone in five 
Right on. That was a free recovery was Swamp Thing. And what a cool song that was. And I'm assuming it was live as well. But really cool tune. Very catchy hook. I like, love the lyrics. Like a great tune uh, as a whole. I loved it. Yeah, they're a really awesome band. Um, and it was really interesting because when uh, we held. 